Hello, in the next five minutes, we are going to learn how to write beautiful descriptions in the table gen language. So again, what is table gen? It's a domain specific language invented for LLVM. It's used extensively in LLVM and it's used to describe records of instructions, registers, intrinsics, attributes, what have you. I'm sure you all are very enthusiastic users of this language. This talk is not an introduction to table gen, nor is it going to be a complete guide. But we are going to look at interesting features that you may not know exist, know but haven't used, or used in a different way. So sit back and enjoy the talk. Suppose you have a long list of definitions which are all very similar. So in this case, it's just a mapping. So what typically you want to do is, what you typically want to do is, is you define a map of some sort and, and use a for loop. TableGen doesn't have global variables, but you can use the following idiom. What you can do is define a reg map and then a list of lists. Basically, it's a list of pairs, and then you can use uh, combinations of head and tail to extract the first and second elements, and, and then use the hash to concatenate them and generate automatically the definitions that you want. Next, suppose you have a list and you want to reverse it. Of course, you can just rewrite the list, but what you typically want is uh, to call a function uh, to reverse it. In table gen, there is no, nothing like functions, but you can use the following idiom. You can call, write a class called reverse and pass it a list as a template argument, and then use the fold function. So uh, the first argument to the fold is a seed. It's, in this case, it's an empty list. The second argument is the, L, the list itself. What fold does, it walks over every element of the list. Uh, we give it a label B in this context, and the last argument to fold is really the function that you're going to apply. In this case, because you want to reverse the list, you're going to just prepend B to the partial list A. Right, great. What more can you do with table gen? Can you do merge sort? Now, why would you want to do merge sort? But the idea is that you use these ideas and idioms to apply it in your own case. Right. So um, just a quick reminder, uh, what is merge sort? You take a list, you divide it in two parts, you merge them, uh, you sort them individually, and then you merge the results. Right, so this is how you would typically do it in, in table gen. You define a class merge sort, pass it a list, and then you define a variable, and then use a combination of, but you need to support functions. Uh, a way to split the list into two parts, upper and lower, and then you can call merge sort within merge sort. Yeah, in table gen, you can do that. And then you need a way to merge them. <clears throat> right, so let's see how do you call split. Again, using the idioms we have seen so far, you define a class split, pass the template argument list L. Inside that, you just uh, define a few variables to determine the size. And then you define two variables, lower and upper, which would really use a fold function to extract the lower and upper halves of the list that you provided. So that gives you the splitting. And then how do you do the merge? Now, a key point is when you're thinking of programming something in table gen, it's best to think in terms of template metaprogramming or functional programming. So well, there, how do you do a merge? Well, to, to merge two lists, you just look at the head of the list and pick the smallest element, and then you call merge on the remaining part of the list. So again, using the idioms we've seen so far, you define a class merge, pass it to a list, and use a jumble of, of, of instructions. These are inbuilt in operators to extract the head of the list, and you prepare, and again, as you can see, you're calling merge again inside merge, and this is, this is all valid code. I've tried and tested them. TableGen can do that. <laughs> right, impressed, not yet. Can you do, <laughs> can you do compile time polymorphism with TableGen, as in, have a common interface with which you can uh, use across different subtypes. Yeah, you can. This is an example. You define a geometric object which has a draw, and then you define a line and a rectangle which are subtypes of, of a geometric object, and they have their own draw functions or variables. And the key here is the line four where you have uh, my class, and you're passing a list of objects which are geometric objects, but TableGen is smart enough to invoke the right draw functions. So if you run TableGen, it is going to print the line and the rectangles that you have passed to it. More, okay, if you are really tired of writing nested lifts, ifs in TableGen, you can use the condition 
operator, which gives you a neater uh, solution. Right, I mean, there was lots of code here, and uh, I understand you didn't couldn't, uh, follow it, but you can go back, look at the uh, video, and hopefully you're gonna rewrite your table files. Thank you very much.